Welcome back everyone, Ryan here with Sticker Status today, back with another educational tutorial. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to add cut lines to stickers so that they can be printed and plotted. So whether you're making stickers for a customer or just doing it for fun at home, in order for stickers like this to be sent to print production and be plotted out by a plotter, we need to add something called a cut line. Now this is a vector line that the plotter is going to recognize in its RIP software so that the blade knows exactly where to cut in order to cut your stickers out. So we have three different types of stickers here and I'm going to show you how to add cut lines. So um, let's start with this monkey over here on the right. Um, again, this is a vectorized sticker and if you don't know how to turn anything into a vectorized ready to print sticker, make sure to watch our previous video where we show you how to turn anything into a sticker. I'm in Adobe Illustrator here. So this is pretty simple guys. We have our artwork layer here, layer one. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this artwork. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second layer and I'm going to name this cut. Okay, so what we want to do is we want the plotter to cut exactly around this white line along the outside to cut our sticker out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this white line here, right? And I'm going to control copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our cut layer and click control B as in boy. You don't want to hit control V. If you hit V, it's going to put it in a random place where it's not lined up. So you want to hit control B, which will paste it back exactly in the same spot that you had it from before. So click on your cut layer, control B. And sometimes, see, see, it keeps wanting to paste it back on my artwork layer. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll lock the artwork layer and then control B on the cut layer. Boom. So now it puts it on top. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the fill off. So click the fill box here and click no fill. And then we're going to want to go to the stroke box and you're going to want to add a new swatch for your cut contour line. So I'm going to double click this pink here and it's going to open up this menu here. Now you're going to want to name the swatch cut contour. You're going to want to make sure that it is a spot color. And then you're going to want to go zero cyan, 100% magenta, zero yellow, and zero black. Hit enter. So now we've got this pink line all the way around the sticker that's going to tell our plotter where to cut. So boom, once you have those, you can lay out your print file and make lots of stickers. Now again, if you don't have a printer at home, you can go over to our website, stickerstatus.store, and you can go to our custom stickers page here. You can upload your file and we will print, plot, and ship the stickers to you. Now if you have a printer at home, you can do it on your own. So that's one way to add a cut line there. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different here. You know, we get a little lucky here because the background color is white so the rest of the vinyl that I'm printing on is white in the background so we don't need to add colored bleed but in an example like this sticker our logo here if someone wanted a sticker that looks like this for example we would need to add the cut lines but then we're gonna also need to add bleed and I will show you why so let's take this sticker here move it over here so let's take this sticker here and we're gonna do the same process to start with we're gonna copy it paste it onto our cut layer remove the fill add the cut contour stroke so again, you know, if I hide the artwork layer, you can see we've got this pink line around the outside that's going to tell the plotter where to cut. Now, the problem with just printing it like this is because, like I said, the background of our vinyl naturally is already white. So if we had something like this, when the plotter goes to cut, so if we had something like this, when the plotter goes to cut, there is going to be a little bit of variance in your blade where it could cut just a little bit higher, and then you're going to have a weird sliver of white on the edge of your stickers. So this is where you need to add bleed because it's going to help your sticker come out much cleaner. So what you're going to want to do is select all these colors. Um, you don't need to select the cut line. So I'm just, I locked my, so I locked my cut layer and I just have my artwork layer here and I have my artwork selected. Now what I'm going to want to do is go up to object, path, offset path. And I want to add just probably like one or two pixels of bleed. Maybe let's try one. Let's go two. You want just enough. There we go. So I add a little bit of bleed. And so now you can see the cut line is actually has. So now you can see there's actually a little bit of colored bleed around the outside of the cut line. And that's going to prevent you from having any slivers of white showing in the background. So now, as you can see, our cut line has a little bit of colored bleed on the outside of it. And that's going to prevent you from having any weird leftover background color of the vinyl from showing. So nice and simple, you guys. Again, then you just send these files on over to us and we can print them for you. Quick, simple tutorial on how to add cut lines to your stickers. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video or learned anything from it, please make sure to leave a like on it as well as subscribe to our channel to catch all of our future videos. And other than that, that's going to be it for today and we'll catch you next time.